is up YouTube it's RS Mario here bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video all right so uh, these are gonna be some leaks that I missed from yesterday and some more stuff that popped up after I stopped looking because of course I mean I had to stop looking for stuff to actually record the video yesterday that's why I came out so late so if you didn't see it you know check it out you know what I'm saying it, it, it goes over a lot of the other leaks so if you don't see any any if you don't see a specific leak in this video, it's probably in that one. Um, so, of course, you know, if you like videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do uh, to continue getting videos from me. Uh, follow me on, on Twitter and like my video tweet because I will shout out some people who like my video tweet uh, at the end of every episode. Uh, as well as comment down below because we need the comments to keep the channel growing. Um, oh, and by the way, spoiler warning, because th these are straight up leaks, pretty much. A beta of the game has gone out and somebody is leaking stuff from the beta. Uh, so that's essentially what we got here. So let's get on into this. Oh, timestamps in the description, by the way, too, just in case you want to jump around. All right. So first off, we have here the uh, we have some artist renderings. Of what could be in the blur in the blurry images uh, so this one's an artist rendering of, of uh, uh, Quaxley's final evolution and I'll be honest it looks pretty interesting I mean I can I kind of dig it I mean you know what I'm saying it, it's not bad you know the eyebrows I think still are a bit much but I think the eyebrows could work as like the brim of a captain's hat and then like the top of it is like the rest of the cat like a pirate captain you know i can kind of see that you know what i'm saying uh the wings they look kind of interesting i kind of hope he still has hands you know what i'm saying or maybe they're going to do hand wings maybe that's what they're going to do i kind of like it it's all right that's all right especially if it's water fighting type i can kind of it needs to have hands and arms so that it can you know kick and punch and do all the things that fighting pokemon do uh, by the way, uh, Riddler Q actually said that this was a picture of uh, the the uh, Pokemon from behind. So I'm guessing like, uh, you know, kind of like in the old Pokemon games, we got to see the back sprite of a Pokemon. Uh, so this one is another artist rendering. So this is an artist rendering of the Sprigatito Middle Evolution. I think I got a dislike on my video yesterday because I said this looked like trash. <laughs> Sorry, Sprigatito fans, but this job do look kind of lame, though. I mean, I know it's going to evolve into a dark-type Pokemon, but this gen is, like, gray and purple, and it looks, like, sad. It looks like an emo superhero. Like, oh, man, it's a superhero, but they're sad. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, I can't help it. I'm just calling it the way I see it. That job look kind of trash, man. All right, so then speaking of trash, uh, we have... Uh, this palmy evolution so now i thought this was i saw this like days before stuff really really started leaking uh and this one on the on the left over here so this one that had all the different things you know the stuff going across it and i think they do this in a way to either um avoid like people knowing who they are or maybe there's some sort of identifying thing here like i mean you know oh you know sometimes when there's a beta there's like you know codes and stuff on the screen or whatever so maybe to avoid somebody seeing that and being like okay i know who that person is uh the other thing is they could be doing this to avoid dcma because uh, a lot of the the call of duty elites that i've been seeing float around online have stuff like this too and i think it's to avoid dcma basically so so it doesn't get knocked off of whatever uh platform they put it on so uh an, an artist actually did a full 3d render of what the palmy evolution probably looks like bro this thing looks like a mascot at like a theme park or something or like a mascot of a team this looks like it'll be the mascot of a japanese baseball team I, i'm just being honest this thing looks this thing looks goofy it could be a middle evolution you know maybe palm is gonna have two evolutions but or it, it does also look like that that one line evolution where it's just goofy that's that's what this looks like to me 
This thing looks weird. All right, so next we have uh, another blurry, <laughs> another blurry screenshot. This time it's supposedly of a new uh, fake regional of uh, Jigglypuff. So Jigglypuff is supposed to be like a vampire. Uh, this was actually the, uh, what do you call it? This was actually the, um, the, the, the picture, the, um, profile picture for the leaker's account at one point, one of the accounts he had, because he keeps blowing up his account, coming back, posting, blowing up, coming back, posting, blow it up. And this was one of his profile pictures, uh, was, was this thing's eyes. So it's a Jigglypuff, it's got yellow eyes, it's got fangs, and it's supposed to be like Vampire Jigglypuff. It's Count Poof, you know, as they call it. Uh, I, I think it's weird, but it could be interesting. Oh, uh, so now we got some rapid fire uh, uh, leaks coming out of Centro. So first off, it says uh, the region will be called Paladia. Uh, from Pokemon plus Aldea, which is village in Spanish. Mega evolutions are not coming back, so that's another confirmation of that. Looks like the Among Us and Wigglytuff will get new, uh, will, will be a new kind of Pokemon introduced in Generation 9. Not regional forms, not evolutions, but a brand new concept. So I think this is again goes to the regional fakes uh that people have been that, that really cute was talking about uh probably like what a couple weeks ago um so basically uh, it's a new concept a new type of pokemon so it's not a regional it's not a cross-gen evolution uh it's something different um which i want to see like like i want to see what it is like i find this kind of interesting because as much as i like regionals I mean, if you can find another spin on regionals, I'll, I'll try that. Uh, you can transform any Pokemon into the crystallized look by using the new item that looks like a ball that Nimona gives you. So Nimona is going to set you up with the new gimmick. Okay. There are some theories going on about Nimona that she might actually be like the human embodiment of the third legendary. She might be some sort of goddess. Uh, which will be interesting. I mean, you know, she is waifu. So, <laughs> I mean, um, but that will be kind of interesting. Like, kind of like uh, if you've seen the, the fourth Pokemon. No, not the fourth one. I think the fifth Pokemon movie. Uh, I think that was the Latios, Latios movie. And Ash met this girl. And the girl turned out to be like Latios. And then Latios is like in love with Ash, technically. <laughs> it could be something like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because of course... In the game, like, um, um, one legend is going to be the future, like, uh, Kiridon is going to be the past, Miradon is going to be the future. We need to have the present to be represented, and whatever Nimona turns out to be could be the present, or whatever the third legendary is going to be could represent present. So, this will be the first time in a while that the third legend wasn't evil, because I think since generation four. The, the, the third legendary Pokemon in the Trinity has been evil, you know, so that'll be interesting. There is no Eevee evolution. Uh, Jaltic, Milotic, Waylord, Metagross, Jinx, and Golurk are not in the game so far. Remember, this is probably a beta, so the game's not finished yet. Uh, Pokemon will time travel, but not the player. So I, I believe more than likely what they say about that is that the the gimmick is something related to time travel like you'll get a past and future version of a pokemon like you know what i'm saying like the crystal version you know with rocks and stuff on it is probably the past version and then the future version will probably be metallic or whatnot you know um the story is very good i think they said that about legends arceus too it wasn't it wasn't quite wrong uh, three cities, nine towns in the region. Uh, so that would be kind of interesting. So the cities would actually be like big, like hubs. And then the towns will be like little locations around the cities that you have to get through open world to get to. I always thought that was a really good way of doing it. You know, you have a hub city and then around it are smaller towns that you can go to and like chill. Skyrim has a similar thing like that. 
because you've got like White Run, and then you've got like uh, Riverdale or River Riverwood, which is one of the towns, and there's another town. There's like two or three towns around White Run, but White Run is the big city hub in the middle of that area. I thought I always thought that was a good idea for open worlds. Uh, three to five hundred Pokemon in the regional decks. So they haven't really said if there's a national decks yet. Now national decks is what you get after you beat the game. So the regional decks is what is in the game, the Pokemon that are in the game from the start. And then after you beat the game, of course you always unlock more Pokemon. Uh, you know, so that's regional and national. So we don't know if there's going to be a national decks. We don't know if that national deck is going to include every Pokemon. We don't know if it's going to have some of the Pokemon. Like, especially since Pokemon Home is a thing now, they don't necessarily have to put every Pokemon in the game. You know, well, I'm going to correct that. They don't have to have every Pokemon on the Pokedex in the game. Uh, they just have to make sure that the models and resources for every Pokemon are in the game so that you can put them in there. That's been the big thing, all right? They just don't put the resources in for these Pokemon and you just can't put them in the game. Uh, Wooper is getting a poison type regional form. So that that uh, that one I did a couple days, a couple weeks ago could be, could be real. It could be real. Uh, it, it evolves into a brand new Pokemon, not Quagsire. So Wooper gets a regional and a new evolution, which that's kind of interesting. Again, another thing that Riddler Q was leaking at. So, I mean, this really just proves that Riddler Q was out here with the with, with the facts, just hiding them behind leaks. I mean, behind riddles. I don't know which one I like better. I don't know if I like the riddles better, to where I have to kind of think, or do I like this just kind of information dump where I can just dissect it at will. You know, I don't have to be like, oh, what does this mean? And, I don't know which one I like better. I mean, because the riddles are more fun and they kind of keep the surprise because you could be wrong. But I think the the the, the info dumps are, I guess, better for content, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but that's about it as, as the new leaks we've had so far. I think the leaker's blown up his account again. So I, I don't know if he's going to come back this time. Um, but that's about it. So, of course comment hit drop a comment help your boy out even if it's like hey you know your content is trash or hey like your content or something like that drop something down below um and uh, as always like comment subscribe and keep it real all right and for shout outs uh we have a couple of shout outs here so we have uh killian at killian underscore aqua you know what I'm saying? Thank you for liking my video tweet. You're awesome. Uh, and then we have uh, Fernando Lopez. I think I've heard this name before. Uh, for, at Fernando Lopez 4000752. Thank you for liking my video tweet. You're awesome. Um, all right. So that's about it for the shout outs. Of course, if you want to get shouted out on the show, you know, uh, you don't have to follow me, but following me will be nice on Twitter over at twitter.com slash rsmario128 or you can just uh, like my video tweet if you run across it. Either way, uh, we'll get you shouted out on the show.